Did you know that a few common budgeting mistakes could be slowing down your debt payoff? It's true. Small errors can really add up. Today, we'll dive into the top budgeting mistakes and, more importantly, how to avoid them. By making a few tweaks, you'll see a big difference in how quickly you move toward financial freedom. Let's start with a big one. Not having a clear budget. Now, some people think budgets are restrictive, but they're actually freeing because they help you track where each dollar goes. When we don't track our spending, small costs add up and we can easily lose track. Think of a budget as a roadmap. Without it, it's easy to get lost or go off course. Another common mistake? Forgetting irregular expenses. These are those costs that don't happen every month but still come up, like holiday gifts, car repairs, or annual subscriptions. A great way to prepare is to set up what's called a sinking fund. This fund is like a mini savings account where you set aside small amounts each month specifically for those once-in-a-while expenses. When they come up, you're prepared and they don't throw off your whole budget. It's about planning for the unexpected, so nothing catches you off guard. Now let's talk about debt repayment strategy. A lot of people make the mistake of spreading their payments evenly or just paying the minimum, but here's a helpful tip. Focus on the debts with the highest interest rates first. This is often called the avalanche method. By paying off high interest debts first, you'll save more money over time because you're minimizing the extra interest piling up. It may take a bit more effort to keep track of different debts, but the payoff is worth it. Here's another pitfall, relying too much on credit cards. Credit cards make it easy to overspend, even when we intend to stick to a budget. One way to avoid this trap is by switching to cash or using a debit card. When you physically see the money leaving your hands, it's easier to stay mindful and stick to your budget. Credit cards can be helpful if used carefully, but they're also one of the quickest ways to rack up debt if we're not disciplined. Now, let's discuss emergency savings, or the importance of having them. Even a small emergency fund like $500 or $1,000 can be a huge help when unexpected expenses arise, such as car repairs or medical bills. This cushion can keep you from reaching for credit cards or loans, which can add to debt. The idea is to grow this fund over time, but starting small can be a powerful way to protect yourself from slipping back into debt. Another thing people often overlook is small, everyday expenses. These little purchases, like coffee runs, takeout lunches, or small online shopping buys can sneak up on us. Tracking even these small expenses can be eye-opening. By seeing where your money is actually going, you might find areas where you can save without feeling deprived. Maybe it's skipping one coffee run a week or bringing lunch from home more often. These small changes add up over time. Adjusting your budget regularly is another essential step. Life changes and so should your budget. Maybe you got a raise or your expenses have gone up. Either way, take time to revisit your budget each month. Make tweaks and adjustments to ensure your budget reflects your current life. This flexibility helps you stay in control rather than feeling like your budget is controlling you. One mistake that often holds people back is comparing themselves to others. It's easy to see someone with a new car or taking fancy vacations and feel like you should be doing the same. But everyone's financial journey is different. Focusing on your own goals instead of comparing will help you stay on track and avoid unnecessary spending just to keep up. As we wrap up, think about the financial habits you'd like to develop. Proverbs 21.5 says, The plans of the diligent lead to profit as surely as haste leads to poverty. Building strong money habits and avoiding these budgeting mistakes can set you up for financial success. Remember, each small step adds up, and the more you practice these habits, the easier they'll become. Thanks for tuning in. If you found these tips helpful or have questions, drop a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe for more tips on budgeting, debt payoff, and financial freedom. Let's keep this journey going together.